Hey everyone, and welcome to this deep dive. We're going to be talking about how to vote in the 2024 U.S. elections. Yeah, great topic. Very important. Super important, and I know that everyone listening wants to be prepared. Definitely. Um, so we're going to like break it all down, like all the steps, so you can, you know, go into this whole thing feeling super confident. Yeah, because it can definitely feel overwhelming, right? Like, where do I even start? Exactly. So let's, uh, you know, start at the very beginning. Okay, sounds good. Which is your registration. Registration. Right. That's yeah. like the most important thing. I feel like everyone's heard of voter registration, but like maybe they don't know all the details about it. Yeah, you got to make sure you're actually registered and that all your information is up to date. So where do we go for all that? All right. So the place to go is vote.gov. Okay. Vote.gov. Got it. Yeah, you can check if you're registered and like if you need to update your address or anything, you can do it all there. Oh, that's nice. All in one place. Super easy, super convenient. It's all online, so you can do it anytime. 24th. Love that. Okay, so we're registered, but what if we can't make it to the polls on election day? Right. So that's where early voting and mail-in ballots come in. Oh, yes. Tell me more. A lot of people are voting this way now. I think in the last election, something like 69% of people voted early. Wow. That's yeah. that's a lot. It's definitely popular. I mean, it's convenient, but aren't the rules different in every state? Yeah, that's the thing. Some states are really flexible and you can vote early or by mail, no problem. Oh, nice. But then other states are stricter and you need a reason, like you're going to be out of town or something. Okay, so how do I know what my state's deal is? Best thing to do is just check your local election office website or state's website. They'll have all the info. Got it. So say I'm all registered. I know where to vote. It's election day. What else do I need? Your ID. Don't forget your ID. All right, IDs. A lot of states require them, but what they accept can be different. Yeah. A friend of mine went to vote and their driver's license was expired and they couldn't vote. Oh, no. I know. What a bummer. That's why it's so important to check. Definitely. You don't want to go all the way there and then not be able to vote. Okay, so I've got my ID. Anything else to keep in mind? You know, those lines on election day can be killer. <sighs> yeah. If you want to avoid the crowds, try going mid-morning or early afternoon. Ooh, good tip. Yeah, usually less busy then. And if you need any kind of special assistance, like if you need help getting into the polling place or anything, just call your local election office ahead of time and they'll help you out. Awesome. This is all great info. I feel so much more prepared already. Yeah, voting is a right, and it's important to know how to exercise that right. It's in the Constitution. Exactly. And that means you have the right to a fair and accessible voting experience. So what if, like, something goes wrong at the polls? If you have any problems, like super long wait times, or you feel intimidated or anything like that, definitely report it to the election officials right away. Okay, good to know. There are also usually observers there making sure things are running smoothly so you can report it to them too. Got it. Are there any websites or anything we can go to for more info? Oh yeah, for sure. USAGov has a really good guide about voting rights and how to report problems. And then there's the National Association of Secretaries of State. That's NAS. NAS, okay. And they can help you understand the specific rules in your state. Wow, I think we covered everything. I feel like an expert now. It's really not that complicated once you break it down. No, not at all. And it's so important to vote. It's how we make our voices heard. Absolutely. Don't forget, everyone, an informed vote is a powerful vote. So make sure you research the candidates and their stances on the issues you care about. Yes, and don't keep all this knowledge to yourself. Tell your friends, your family, everyone. Let's make 2024 the year of the informed voter. I love that. All right, everyone. Thanks for listening. See ya.